Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the bloke you're stealing from. The name's Alistair Rigby, but as far as you're concerned, I'm Willy fucking Wonka, and you're taking the shit in my fucking chocolate factory. The year is 2020, and gaming on whatever platform you choose has never been a more rewarding experience. But the future of gaming has never been more clouded. With the release of next-gen consoles around the corner, gamers have been gearing up for the next cycle of console wars. Those Xbox Ones are as good as ours! Yeah! Wait, wait, what are you talking about, Xbox Ones? That's what this is all about, Craig. We're all trying to get Xbox Ones on Black Friday! I thought we were getting PlayStation 4s. While they have been wrapped up in a chaotic media cycle, though, several companies, several shady companies, several companies known to take advantage of their customers have been pushing new, innovative, and consumer-friendly ideas. Recently, players enjoying UFC 3 were blessed with the lovely commercial break during their playtime. These ads were said to be test runs, with the thinking, TV and internet, hell, even mobile games aren't enough anymore. They need you to see their product at all times. Now, people say, Ads have already been in mobile games, what's the difference? And to that I say... Who said that? Which one of y'all dead motherfuckers just said that shit? Was it you, String Bean? You skinny ass looking motherfucker? Yes, ads have always found their way in mobile games in various ways. But for the most part, mobile games are either free to play or extremely cheap compared to console games. This will be the equivalent to paying for any music album and after every two songs, you get a radio commercial. And as we know with any quote, test runs, that's really just them seeing how far they can push things before any complaints. I recall when loot boxes first started appearing in games. People would say, well, it's only in sports games. Then it was, well, it's only cosmetics. Well, look at us now. Look at us. Hey, <laughs> look at us. Look at us. Huh? Who would have thought? Not me. If only we would have pushed back sooner rather than later, maybe the culture of loot boxes would be different. My fear is with 2K's recent declaration that next-gen game prices need to be raised an additional $10 to cover developmental costs, that we could see greedy, money-hungry companies forcing players to choose ad-free versions on an already higher-priced game, leading to potentially $80-plus games. Now, if companies would instead lower the cost of their games to, let's say, $10, ad-filled games would still be unpleasant, but it wouldn't feel as cash-greedy and unnecessary. And with speaking of potential price raises, do you think a company who has been exposed on numerous occasions releasing lackluster games should honestly be considering higher prices? Would you mind the next time you play on one of your games, this happens? I'm Wilfred Brimley and I'd like to talk to you for a few minutes about diabetes. Actually about I, uh, diabetes and uh, 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 you know, uh, diabetes. Let me know your thoughts about what you think the cost of gaming in the near future could look like down below. This is Hindsight Gaming. Peace out.